I wish I'd wax my legs. What a wonderful world. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing like my first experience using Urban Clap. It's basically an app that provides you with services at home for a very affordable price. I think I did a very bad job describing it. Urban Clap. Urban Clap enables users to find any service professional like a plumber, wedding photographer, yoga teacher or an interior designer at affordable prices. So I thought of trying out their massage services at home and I'm doing a deep tissue pain relief. I think it's a 60 minute massage and I've also taken the 20 minute foot reflexology. All in all, it's going to be 90 minute massage, which I'm so excited about. I love massages. I don't think there's anyone in the world who doesn't, but I'm a little extra obsessed about massages. And I realized that when I search about Urban Clap on YouTube, majority of the videos are sponsored so I thought anyways I'm trying out their service for the first time so I might as well share my raw honest review of Urban Clap. I will talk about pricing and a final opinion of the experience towards the end of the video so make sure you stick till the very end. Okay so it's currently 11.30 a.m. and my appointment is for 12 p.m. but I missed their confirmation call like an hour back so what happens is after you make an appointment online they sort of give you a confirmation call two or three hours before the actual appointment just to confirm if the appointment is still on so I just called the professor that was assigned to me and uh, she said she might be a little late since I didn't answer their confirmation call so the appointment was at 12 but I'm assuming she'll come by 12 30 hopefully so I thought setting up the home spa in my room uh, the only problem is they do bring a massage bed and there is I guess enough space but I think it will be easier if I just push the bed a little to that side so that there's more room for her to move around the bed and massage moving the bed yep those are the ugly things that I always hide under the bed. I think all of us have something ugly under our bed. And I don't think we need this rug here. Yep, I think this space should be more than enough. So yeah, let's wait for my spa expert to come. This space is okay, right? disposable stuff to wear. My massage is going to start. I'm going to wear this robe over the disposable stuff. I feel so <laughs> conscious. Okay, let's do this. Two hours later. So she just left and Funnily, I slept a bit towards the end while she was doing the foot reflexology. It was so relaxing that I just slept and I just woke up. There's oil all over my the sides of my face and a little bit in my head and of course my body. I don't know how those 90 minutes just flew by because I didn't even realize it. I even slept off towards the end. She was super professional. Massage wise it was great. It's exactly like how masseuse in a proper professional spa will do. Everything was cleaned and sanitized before I used it and even after the massage got done you guys saw she was cleaning the entire bed again. She did carry a trash bag with her so it was all in all a very professional experience even timing wise. She came only 15 minutes late and that also only because I forgot to confirm. So if you do book an appointment please make sure like before the appointment probably one to Two hours before uh, you guys don't keep your phone on silent like I did and just receive the calls if you don't pick up they'll assume that the session has been cancelled I do feel very relaxed and rejuvenated I do go to the gym so I had a lot of muscle tightness and I do yoga and I dance so all in all my muscles just needed that sort of pressure so it felt good okay now talking about the pros and the cons because even though I said all good things there were 
couple of cons. I just want to quickly compare both like normal spa and the Urban Clap spa therapy session. One of the biggest pros of using Urban Clap is convenience, time convenience, travel convenience. It's all at your home. So you're not really spending any money on travel or wasting any time for that matter. Also, it's very flexible. So if you have very wonky working hours or just a very tight schedule, you can fit a massage session within your schedule and not the other way around. Another pro is that it is definitely more budget friendly than going to a regular spa. For me, the 60 minute deep tissue massage costed 1,500 and the 20 minute foot reflexology costed me 500 bucks. So that's basically 2,000 rupees. Also, you're not spending any money for travel in terms of petrol or actual money. Professionalism wise, it's the same. Like if you're going to a spa outside, if you've had that experience, you know, it's very professional. Now coming to the cons, there were a couple of cons. Ambience wise, it's just my room, right? Anyways, I'm closing my eyes the entire time throughout the massage. So it's not important that it should look beautiful around me so that's not the problem but I do recommend if you guys are booking an urban club session do it towards the evening so it's slightly darker and you won't have this much brightness prefer it to be a little more dimmer you know so that it's soothing to the eyes also you feel a bit more self-conscious when there is more light because you are technically partially naked so yeah I would prefer if it's like really dim like in regular spas uh, that you can get if you either have like really good blinds or really thick curtains or just do it in the evening another con was the sounds of course she had her speaker and it had really soothing relaxing calming music playing and that was great but I have a cat and she kept crying outside my door there uh, because she just wanted to be let in so yeah that was very distracting in the first half of the massage uh, but then my cat Nala she was calm afterwards so it was fine uh, but yeah if you don't have a pet you don't have to worry about that but even other sounds like I could hear my mom watching something on her TV random sounds like that that happen in a normal household even sometimes people talking chatting all that you can hear so so yeah that felt a little distracting for my otherwise very meditative state so yeah, I think I covered pretty much everything if you have any more questions do let me know you can comment down below or you'll be more likely to get a response if you just DM me on my Instagram I always reply to all my DMs let me know if you've used Urban Clap what has your experience been because I know there are people on both ends of the spectrum but mostly everyone has a very positive experience hashtag this is not a sponsored video I just felt like I had to say it again otherwise I'll just keep seeing comments I'm sure this is a sponsored video it's not so yeah subscribe to my channel if you like this sort of content and hit on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I do upload my next video give it a big thumbs up and stay happy positive and blessed bye